we are in Houston today. We drove from Denton to Houston and that took about five hours. I drove today and Janet should be driving back on Sunday. Basically, this is a trip to see apartments. So we will be looking at apartments tomorrow. Thus, stay tuned and keep watching. Good morning, guys. We are finally in the car. Um, like I said earlier, we're gonna go see apartments. We're gonna go get food first. Oh, and this is my sister. Her name's Janet. So we'll get food and then I'll show you guys the apartments that I see and hopefully I find at least two good ones. I'm praying for two good ones. All right, so we have sink, stove. There's no microwave. <laughs> Fridge. And then this is the location for the laundry. Oh my god. And this closet is tiny. What's going on? It's not even gonna walk in. This is like a study, not like a bedroom. Yeah. Go look at the other one. The other one is huge. The closet. One bedroom. Second bedroom. Guessing that's a patio. This room's decent size, and we have a walk-in closet. Okay. And the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. A bathroom is decent. You have two mirrors. This reminds me of Saudi. Oh, you have another separate room. The light for everything is ugly. Oh, you have space. Second apartment, Beckley Apartments. Alright, so living room, the den, the two bedroom ish thing. Two rooms. Okay. This is the two bedroom? Is this the bedroom? No, this is like the one and a half, but yeah, it's considered a two bedroom one. Alright, so we have a nice sink, dishwasher, microwave, which is good, and stove. Um, cabin tree for the kitchen. Overall, not bad. <laughs> this is one of the bedrooms, or the den, or the half bedroom. It's not bad. Um, closet area. It's kind of scary. You will just leave that alone. This will fit almost nothing, but it's nice. Bath, okay, nice. The lighting is pretty in here. And a closet. And then this is the one bedroom. Bigger. And closet, walk-in closet. Typical, typical for Texas. It's nice. Okay, so kitchen, we have um, dishwasher stuff, cabinets, sink is nice, 
stove, microwave, and there's a fridge. And then we have, this is the laundry space with the two bedroom. They actually have a washer and dryer, so that's good. You don't have to pay for a washer and dryer. Cabinet space. Oh, they have pretend food, cute. Let's walk back so you, just to get a feeling of the space. It's small, but it's it's not small. It's it's nice. Living room. The other person pays 834 too. And Whoa. Yeah. dining room. Yeah. <laughs> it's like $1,700. For what? And the price jumps depending on like the amount of time. Bedroom size. Oh, this was oh, nice. Look at me. How low. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Hey. The closet so. is huge. Isn't that nice? Size. Huge. Did you see the closet in the second bedroom? Yeah, it's that's that's like a good my regular but closet. But that's a good yeah, size exactly. closet for a second bedroom. This is the master bedroom closet. It's it's big. It's not. It's big. It's big. Plenty of space. And the bathroom. All right. So. This is nice. I like it. And the other bedroom. Let's see their bath first. So the bath is outside of the other bedroom, which is cool. Bath. I like it. And the bedroom. Wow, the size. The size of everything in this place is is worth the price. Okay, let's see. Closet. Yeah, the closet is big too. Okay. This is nice. And we're back at the front door. I'm guessing this is the smaller room with its own bathtub and a mirror and then there is a closet it's, it's not bad so was that is this the smaller room or the bigger room? Um, that was actually the master room the master room? okay and This is the smaller room. I'm choking. Okay, the smaller room is smaller. And it has the closet with the room, and then the bathroom is outside. We have closets here. Let's see. Closet space again. That's just nice. Oh, so they do have washers. Well, it looks like just a washer right now. So a washer. Dryer's missing. And then closet space for the front. And lastly the kitchen. Sink. Microwave. Cabinets, stove, and fridge. And kitchen space. And this is the garage. It's on the beats. Hey guys, um, taking a little break. I thought I'd show my face. Basically, I'm at like my fifth apartment. Janet didn't want to come with me anymore. So she's sitting in the car, but um, I'm here and can you see that? It says, sorry, we just missed you. So I'm just gonna wait here until they finish showing whoever the apartment and then we're gonna go back to looking at apartments.
the living room we're gonna go ahead and walk over here so this is the second bedroom basically you've got two doors which is cool you can close them off sizing is nice the view is nice let's step back the bath is the bathroom's nice granite and then tub with the shower closet okay close and then get to the kitchen last dining area got a study area and then the master room it's nice and you've got the bathroom in the master room so this is this is nice toilet um a garden tub that's what she calls it let's see what's behind this door and then a shower and then you have a walk-in closet that is connected to the bathroom so you have to walk through the bathroom to get to the closet and finally we have the kitchen okay so these things aren't bad you have a microwave cabinets are nice stove top fridge and a laundry room and cabinets of course again and you can close up the laundry room so that's nice i thought we were going outside should i just go through or you wanna yeah i can take you around yeah. the living room yeah if you are on the third floor you do have the bolted ceiling if you are on the first or second it's just flat across um you still have the ceiling fan though um, this is the patio. In a two bedroom, your patio will be a lot longer. It can possibly come up about here. Um, your dining area is back this way. But the one on uh, the third floor, one bedroom with the sunroom, there's no patio. Yeah. So it's just extended out? Yeah, so the sunroom, the way that it's set up, there is no wall right here. It's mm -hmm. kind of just all open. Okay. So because it's open, it's like having that extra space, yeah. but inside. Okay. So your carpet extends out, you have the same storage, like a coat closet, everything's inside instead of out. Okay. In the smaller one bedroom, you will not have the island, um, and there won't be the the wall right here. Everything's kind of just open. Okay. But I'll show you pictures whenever we get back. Okay. And all of them do have the white appliances, and then these are the countertops that the majority of our homes look like. All right, so we've got cabinets. In the smaller unit, um, it, it won't be as big as this one. You, since this is, goes away, it's kind of just like, just the space. So mm -hmm. your refrigerator is right here, and that little piece right there kind of cuts off. Okay. This isn't here? Mm -mm. And in, that isn't here? Mm -mm. Not in the other one. Here you do have a laundry room, since they all have the washers and dryers, you will have one too. Yeah. Um, this is the restroom. How does it work for the one bedroom that I want? Like, are, is the It would be the bathroom? same, the same floor out, like okay. the layout right here. So when you come in, you have your restroom door, your coat closet, and then your bedroom and your closet. It would be the same layout right here. Okay. The only difference is that in the other one, you bathroom. probably won't have that bookshelf. Okay. All of them do have those shower rods. They might not be as high as there, but they usually come like halfway. And then you won't have the attic up there, that's just for us, for here. <laughs> okay. There's a cabinetry. I thought I would end the vlog here. It's been a very long day. I've been viewing apartments since 9 a.m. and we finished at 4 p.m. exactly. Unfortunately, the last apartment we got to, they refused to show us around because according to them, they stopped showing apartments at 4 p.m. So, but the good thing is that I did see nine other apartments and I think 
think I know which one I want here in Houston in case I do move to Houston I know where I want to live so hopefully you guys found this vlog um, informative and enjoyable too um, I hope Hopefully we'll come out with more vlogs soon. Let me know if you like this vlog and have a good day guys.